Okay, so I'm Phil White, CTO, and uh, you know today is pretty exciting for us. Um, you know, we're, there's a couple really cool things that we're going to talk to you about today, um, and uh, you know in in particular uh, some new features in Scribe and uh, and, a, and a great cloud related functionality that we'll go into. Um, but first of all, you know I. You know, Jeff kind of gave a, 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 a more of a product overview, a high level overview, and uh, I want to go into a little bit of a refresher on Scribe. Um, and you know, we've done previous tech field days on Scribe, so I'm not going to go into you know super low level details. Uh, I can refer uh, to the earlier tech field day presentations if you need more details. Uh, but if anybody does have any questions, we can definitely go deeper than what I'm going to present here. But this is going to be a little bit more of a, a sort of a high level. What is Scribe? What does it do? So first of all, Scribe is software-defined block storage. Um, you know, this is kind of a key component of any hyper-converged system. Uh, you have to have a way for virtual machines to access the direct attached uh, block storage that's available on these machines and have it do so in a reliable way. You know, and then beyond that, uh, the other features are just you know, uh, added benefits. But you know, the idea here with Scribe is you're, you're pooling together all the block devices that are available in a cluster and making those blocks available to virtual machines. It's, it's really that simple. So Scribe basically pools those together and, uh, and then uh, implements things like data reliability, snapshotting, replication, et cetera, on top of that. Um, just to give an idea of some of the high-level features here, and you know, Scribe, uh, I think the first time we presented it was probably three or four years ago. Um, Scribe's been around for close to five years now, um, and uh, you know, I, we've got thousands of deployments with it now, and uh, it's been in production since 2013. Um, so during that time, we've had you know, a, a, a real good opportunity to add a lot of uh, features to it. And, and at this point today, you know, we pretty much consider it full featured. Um, you know, obviously, a lot of these are table stakes things like thin provisioning, snapshotting, and cloning. Um, you know, having it be highly available, obviously, if a node fails, any component fails, you can't have a single point of failure. Uh, things like live migration are supported with Scribe. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, and that comes in, that's, that's very important on our sort of one-click upgrades that we do, where we automatically live migrate virtual machines around, and, uh, and those block devices stay reliable through that, through that process. Um, async remote replication of snapshots is what uh, enables uh, some of the features that it, well, we'll be demoing today, um, as far as being able to replicate a VM to a remote site, and then uh, in, a, in a disaster recovery scenario, you can then clone and, and uh, power on that VM remotely. And, uh, tiering and journaling are a couple of new features that we've added recently. Uh, Jeff kind of went through the, the sort of uh, user view of tiering, and, uh, and I think we've mentioned uh, a little bit about tiering in a previous tech field day as well, um, how we manage the different uh, tiers of storage between flash, spinning disk, or faster uh, tiers of storage, which we'll, we'll talk about here in a minute. Um, journaling is a, is a feature that's about to uh, GA one of these days soon here. Um, uh, we've also added dedupe recently, um, and then uh, uh, things like failure recovery. Um, you know, this is kind of an, obviously another table stakes feature, but uh, Scribe has pretty sophisticated um, automated recovery handling, um, which kind of goes back to the whole ease of use of the whole HC3 system. Um, you know, we we really uh, do a lot of in-depth testing, and uh, with regards to the automation that's built into the system around around failures. Uh, so it's it's really a hands-off system overall, um, but uh, and given that you know Scribe itself is fairly decoupled from uh, you know the the actual orchestration layer, Scribe itself functions as a as a standalone software-defined storage stack as well. Um, so and I already mentioned uh, you know we've been in production on Scribe since 2013. Um, again, thousands of deployments, and the fact that we can support all of those customers and all of those uh, deployments of Scribe and HC3. With less than 20 support staff, I think is, is testament to uh, uh, you know the quality and the, the level of testing that we put into it as well. So, how many deployments are there out there then that you support with those 20 staff? Um, I think it's you know I, I don't know the number off the top of my head. It's somewhere between one and two thousand. So. That's pretty impressive. So. What's your average size deployment? Uh, what's average size deployment is four or five nodes ish. I think, Craig, do you about five? Five, five. Okay, typically. Yeah. 